Well, hiya, BookTube. Bill Rutenberg here with the Rutenberg Library. Uh, I wanted to come to you this morning with a book chat, and I wanted to talk about the book uh, The Witches, Salem, 1692 by Stacy Schiff. Uh, this was part of my October TBR list. I'm a little bit late, month and a half to get it done, but we've had a lot of stuff going on, and uh, I've picked up several books in between, and, and uh, Unfortunately for this book, it didn't get my full attention just because of that, and I'm I'm really going to chalk it up to the year 2020. Um, just I've had lots of stuff on my mind. I've been busy um, where I normally would not be busy because of things that take up time at at school and stuff, and and um, it's just uh, I, I don't want the I don't want you to think that the book was bad because it took me a month and a half to get through it. It it wasn't bad at all. It was all me and just everything going on. But anyway, um, this was a, I, I thought, a good book. Uh, Stacy Schiff does a nice job of, of writing on a subject that can sometimes, sometimes be um, maybe unapproachable just because of the age of the documents. It gets, it gets hard to uh, make it an entertaining story. And uh, I thought she did a good job making it uh, approachable and making it readable. And I just really liked this book. So uh, tell you a little bit about it. Again, uh, The Witches, Salem 1692 by Stacy Schiff. Uh, this is a, a Little Brown and Company book out of New York. And it was uh, published in 2015. And I uh, really like this. Here's the... Here's the end pages of the book. Nice map of uh, Massachusetts there. And then on the other end page, it's got some documents. It's really cool. And so I really like those end pages. And the, the book was a total of 496 pages. And that would be... Let me get some page numbers here for you. That would be 417 pages of text. And then her notes are, let's see here. Doo, 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 doo. So she's got, oh, about 61 pages of notes and then a couple pages of bibliography. And so uh, I think the notes were done pretty extensive. I think the bibliography is a little bit short, but that's also dealing with the, the amount of uh, sources that she has available. She did a good job of using what letters and stuff survive in the, in the court records and stuff. I really enjoyed that. So in this book, she, she does an excellent job of telling the story of the Salem witch trials. And uh, she, d she does a good job of giving background on just how the ideas of the witches came to uh, North America and talked a lot about what it was like back in Europe and how they dealt with the witches and witchcraft and, and how it was a little bit different here in America. And um, I thought she did, like I said, an excellent job of giving the background on that. And one of the other things I really liked about this book was how she she did this uh, from a woman's perspective in a lot of cases. I mean, she told the man's or the male side of the story also, but she she gives a, a female perspective that often doesn't uh, get hit, uh, at least from. And I have not read any this. Matter of fact, I guess I should throw throw this out that this is the first book that I have read that is just about the Salem Witch Trials. Now, I'd obviously read about it in textbooks. I'd read about it, you know, briefly in uh, histories of North America and that kind of stuff, but they never give a whole, a whole lot of space to the subject. So this is the first time I've read something, uh, you know, a whole book on it. And uh, I thought it was real interesting. And she gives that female perspective. And I thought possibly that was the best part of the book, was uh, talking about the plight of women in the time period and maybe some of the reasons on why these girls acted out, these young, these young teenage girls acted out in the way that they did, in the manner they did. Um, and, and she gives... Um, as she talks about about women in the time period, she talks about the the oppression of 
or the, you know, just the not having full rights and being being really subservient and how this leads to acting out. And, you know, I mean, all teenagers go through that anyway, uh, some sort of acting out and rebelliousness. And, and this just compounded the issue, the, the oppressiveness of the, of the culture of that time. And I thought she did an excellent job of, of telling that story. Uh, and of course, she then, in the middle of the book, goes through the whole history of the trials and who's being put on trial and who's, you know, who's accusing, who's being accused, who's in jail, who's not in jail, who the ministers were. Uh, you know, she does a really good job of telling that whole story. And then towards the end, uh, the other part of my f favorite part of the book for me was the the, the wrapping it up after the. Um, trials are all done the legacy of the event you know the the post trials the you know the couple three years right after and then you know what happened in massachusetts with just the families trying to to bring it all back together and trying to work together and live together even though all of this has happened you know and she talks about how a lot of the records for the time period were just totally erased because a lot of people just wanted to act like it never happened and just move on with the life. And I thought that was real. Um, it, she did a very good job explaining that and made it very interesting. And then just the legacy even into today and how ideas like this or, or the mass hysteria and stuff like that, how that still affects us even in today's world. And she did an excellent job with that. That, that thoroughly entertained me. So those would be all positives. I'm going to show you show you the pictures in the middle um, so those were kind of cool too uh, so it's got a couple different sections of pictures and I think these would probably be woodcut drawings um, and then some paintings so these were these were just really really pretty cool went right with the story and uh, these were particularly interesting to me because we got a teacher at school who actually when he traced his lineage he's got family that goes back to both sides the accused and the accusers and um, so that was kind of interesting to me because he's he's talked a little bit about that and he shared some pictures from when he went to Salem and it's similar pictures to that but um, she uh, she does a good job going back and forth to the records to explain where she's getting her information and and then she also explains really well in how the stories um, you know how they corroborate and how they how they either agree or disagree with each other with the with the different uh, accusers these different uh, teenagers that were doing the accusing so I thought that was a really good they if there was anything about the book that that I did not like, I do think that possibly, and I think it's probably just the material that she's using, but um, I think probably 50 to 100 pages could have been cut out of the middle of this when she was talking about the different trials and stuff. And, and this is just my opinion. Um, and maybe it's just my tastes in reading it. That was the part of the book that dragged dragged on for me. And I struggled with that, and I had to put it down and go to something else because it felt like uh, the story got a little bit redundant as she was going through each of the each of the different uh, cases. Everything was fairly similar, and uh, to me that got a little redundant, and probably probably could have been some of that could have been edited out. But uh, with that being said, again, part of that's not her fault because if she's going to tell the full story then um, you know she's got to talk about that but I thought this was a very entertaining book I thought it was good I would I would recommend it to anybody that is studying this time period and wanting to know more about the Salem witch trials um, it was very good um, Stacy Schiff's a, a great author her story the the pace of the story does move very well and uh, she explains stuff very well and 
So I'd highly recommend this. I'd probably give it, if, if it was a five star rating, I'd probably give it a four and a half out of five. And the four and a half only because in the middle, and this is just personal opinion, I thought that the middle of it kind of dragged on. She could have cut a little bit of that out. Um, but real good story and uh, would, would highly recommend this. So thank you for watching BookTube. I hope everyone's having a great day. Ha until next time, happy reading.